Xiaomi just announced a concept smartphone with a crazy amount of specs and an even crazier display. It looks like Samsung is bringing a much needed feature to their display fingerprint scanners on the S11, and we have some more leaks that show us pretty much everything else we probably didn't know about the Pixel 4. I'm Jaime Rivera, and by the time we get that announcement from Google, I don't even think we should get an announcement. We should just go directly to the hands-on for all the rest of us to have some coverage on it. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, uh, but uh, all right, let me just explain the way it goes because the product is not necessarily one that I would recommend, even though the processor is probably not a bad option. If you remember when I reviewed the Google Pixel Slate, I recommended the one that I reviewed, which was the Core i5, but not necessarily everything that was under it, but still, Core M3 variant is bundled with the keyboard for $549 shipped. Best Buy is also matching this deal, which if you do the math, the slate goes for $998 and the keyboard alone costs another extra 200. Again, if you could go for the i5, that'd be great, but uh, the M3, it was better than the Celeron that nobody really liked. Now let's talk about uh, Android 10 and which OEMs are adopting it, because uh, at the moment you could pretty much only get it on the Pixel, uh, except uh, that there are changes coming. OnePlus has pretty much confirmed that their 7T series will come with Android 10 pre-installed, and uh, Pete Lau also tweeted a picture of the box, which is uh, going back to red colors and their visual design according to him. Uh, thing about it is, yes, uh, we should expect that 7T to come soon. Uh, no word on the 7T Pro, which is interesting, but uh, still, yeah, Android 10, new box design, I can't wait. Now, a very interesting twist with this whole, uh, you know, trade war that's happening between China and the United States is obviously how OEMs are being affected, like the case of Apple with the tariffs and everything. Apparently, Cupertino has decided to cave in and be like, you know what, I'm not going to be part of this problem. The company has decided to move their production of the Mac Pro to the United States. If you remember, it was going to be assembled in China because certain key components were in China, but now it will be assembled in Austin, Texas. In the same factory they've been using for the Mac Pro since 2013. The parts will be made in 36 different states, supporting 450,000 jobs, according to the statement. Uh, you know, to a certain degree, I'm happy that this is happening, that, you know, that there is production in the United States, period. But uh, then again, uh, we'll see if this actually exonerates Apple from tariffs. Now let's talk about the Google Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL. As uh, for those of you that are expecting our coverage, we are too, we don't have a unit, but it seems that everywhere else in the world, somebody has already started the review process and stuff when we get more details. Today we've got this full review that reveals pretty much the face to unlock capabilities in some way. We see the settings screen on the face to unlock, which will let you make payments, skip your lock screen and other things. In addition, it will also follow on what you can currently do with Face ID, which you can set it to recognize your eyes or not. And uh, we also have some leaks that uh, show us the camera samples. Obviously, I would take these with a grain of salt because it's pre-production hardware, I would assume. We don't know, we'll keep you posted. Now, a device we don't really know much about yet is the future of the Samsung Galaxies. We've heard that this is going to be a complete revamp to what we've seen now. The Galaxy Note 10 was pretty much the last of this lineup and then we should expect complete changes. And we hear a little bit of what we're getting aside from what we heard from the cameras. According to a South Korean publication, the Galaxy S11 will bring an on-display fingerprint scanner with a much larger active area dimension, which will detect your finger in most parts of the display. This is uh, most likely going to happen in devices 2020 as we hear that iPhones are also going to be benefited by this technology. Obviously, we'll have to wait for it. And finally, the hottest news today are not about the Xiaomi Mi 9 Pro 5G that they announced because they made the announcement today, but that wasn't really the hot stuff. It was about their new Mi Mix Alpha. The company has pretty much showed us that this device has a crazy 180.6 screen to body ratio. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How can you have 180.6%? The maximum is 100%. This is their way of portraying the foldable part of the screen. See, it wraps around the display and it also brings in a 108 megapixel camera, which also serves for selfies. The specs include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, 512 gigs of storage, 12 gigs of RAM, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, 40 watt wireless charging. Whoa. 40 watt wireless charging, uh, we'll be looking into this as well. But you know, sadly it was announced as a concept phone, but it should be produced in limited quantities according to them for crazy price of 
$1,500. Thing about it is, this wouldn't be the first time that Xiaomi shows as a concept that ends up becoming a product, the Mi Mix. That's, I think, the reason why they're using the Mi Mix lineup to name it. Let us know in the comments down below, what do you think about their mathematics with 108 beats? No, forget it. Let's focus on the product. What do you think about the Mi Mix Alpha? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Because uh, in my case, uh, I like Xiaomi products, and this looks great, but obviously we'll have to test it. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on parkingnow.com and subscribe to our channel, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram, and follow me on my personal handles to see what I do with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.